today on Fixing the Money Thing. And the Lord said, well, why don't you trust me to get the deer this year? I thought to myself, well, what are you going to do, tie one up or what? What do you mean get, trust you to get the deer this year? So I went out there, and in about 30 minutes, I got a six-point bug. Well, the next year, I tried it again. 30 minutes, 40 minutes, had my deer. Next year, 34. This happened every year. It's done it for 28 years nonstop now. It's a now revolution today on Fixing the Money Thing. With most families burdened in unsustainable levels of personal debt, most Americans believe there is no way to have financial freedom. However, author, pastor, and financial expert Gary Cassie believes most families can be completely out of debt in less than seven years. You must get out of debt. You've got to make right choices with your money right now. Gary and his wife Drenda are now on a crusade to share this information that changed their life so that you can not just survive, but prosper in today's economy. Your life can be totally transformed by an idea in the marketplace. This is Gary Cassie, Fixing the Money Thing. Hey, welcome to Fixing the Money Thing. I'm Gary Cassie, and this is my wife, Drenda. Yes, and on today's program, we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna be talking about the kingdom principles that changed our life yes. and our finances, a little bit of our story, because it's got some interesting twists and yes, turns. Yes, it does. And you know, you, we used to be in some serious debt. Uh, we had a lot of debt. Well, let's first define that. It. Okay, we yeah, had serious debt is defined by 10 maxed out credit cards, like no one would give you another one. Three finance company loans, back taxes, owed our relatives $26,000, judgments and liens, mortgages, two car payments. Should I continue or is that enough? Well, it's enough. I remember yes. those days. They weren't pleasant. No, they weren't. Anyway, we were in debt and it, really in debt's the term for hopeless. We were hopeless. I like to hunt. We've been married for a number of years. I'm an outdoors person. I like to hunt and was failing at that as well. And uh, God began to deal with us about hunting. You know, I, I, I failed at hunting and I began to ask God about it. And he began to instruct me how to hunt by faith with results that literally changed our lives. Now, and I have to say, yes. when he first started talking to me about God spoke to him about helping him get a deer and God told him how he could do this. And so see, I have to admit, I was a little skeptical myself. I thought, yeah, well, deer hunting, God cares about it. <laughs> Gary, does God care about deer hunting? <laughs> God gave us the keys of the kingdom. Yes. So he gave us everything. Amen. So yes, he cares about deer hunting or whatever yes. it is. But you know, uh, Peter, James, and John, they learned about the kingdom of God because remember they were fishermen in their daily routine, catch, routine catching nothing. And God intersected them. Jesus walking on the bank intersected them. And they caught a catch so astonishing that they were willing to leave their business and follow Jesus. Mm. All it takes is one example, one experience with the kingdom of God that literally changes your entire life. That's what happened to me with deer hunting. We were desperate. I was desperate. I was failing as a husband, failing as a provider. Everyone was calling for money. And in, in desperation, you know, I would go out in the woods to try to get away from the pressure. And God spoke to me and said, trust me for the deer hunting. And then he began to teach me the laws and success occurred. And then in two and a half years after I began to apply those laws, we began to say, hey, if it works for deer, it works for anything else. That's we paid right. all the debt off. I mean, incredible story of how the mm. kingdom of God changed our lives, but it all started with deer hunting. I love that. You know, God will meet you where you're at, where you're at, whatever it is. You know, yes. it may not be for you. You may not be trying to get a deer. As I used to say, catch a deer. Yeah, Remember I, I said, no, we don't, <laughs> we don't catch them. We kill them. But anyway, uh -huh. but maybe you're dealing with something in your we finances. Maybe you're dealing with something in your marriage, wherever and yes. whatever problem is, uh, you know, up against you're you're coming up against. Like Gary said, God will meet you. He will intersect you That's in right. your daily life. Whatever's important to you, whatever needs you have, wherever you are, the kingdom of God has answers for you. Yes, and Gary, does. I just have to say today, I am very grateful and thankful that you well, learned how to hunt deer by faith. I am too, because it's more fun to have success than not, and failure is no fun anytime. So we're gonna talk more about that in a minute and stay tuned because it's gonna be astonishing and exciting stuff. The Lord taught me some other way. I, I like. I like this, and people may not like it, but he taught me through deer hunting. And I have a book out there called Faith Hunt, how God taught me how faith operated. So we had this experience. And going into the fall, the Lord said, why don't you trust me for your deer this year? Now, if you don't know much about Ohio, it's really cold. I mean, you go out deer hunting, you sit out there and freeze. You know, you have ante anticipation that it's not going to be very long, but, it, you know, you can go out there for a week and hope to get a deer and just sit there and freeze with, you know, minus 10 degree weather and the snow and ice. And that was pretty much what was happening to me. We had 
little babies to feed. We sure could use the venison. We lived on this little old 1800 uh, year old you know, 1800s farmhouse, and so we needed the meat. We used the meat. We liked the venison, but we'd always go out and just I wouldn't get them. And the Lord said, "Well, why don't you trust me to get the deer this year?" I thought to myself, "Well, what are you going to do? Tie one up, or what? What do you mean get trust you to get the deer this year?" Now remember, I don't know how fa I'm just learning. I mean, this is the very beginning how this stuff operates. He said, "I want you to take a, a check. I want you to sow a financial seed, a financial gift into ministry, but I want you to name it for your deer." So that was 1987. I wrote on there for my 1987 deer. I lived in Oklahoma at the time. I didn't have time to scout anything. I had a friend of mine said, come down Thanksgiving Day. There's some deer out there. So he said, just go out and sit in that hayfield out there. So I went out there, and in about 30 minutes, I got a six-point buck. And I thought, man, that's awesome. In fact, when I released my faith, I had taken a piece of paper and written down, I believe that I received my deer by faith in the name of Jesus. And I had, that piece of, I had that paper in my pocket. My friend who was with me hunting heard the shot, comes over and he said, oh, that's a nice buck, Gary. I said, Don, I said, I said, man, I, I, that's great. I said, Don, come over here. I showed him the piece of paper. I said, Don, I don't think this deer is by my own hunting ability. I think something's happened here that goes beyond that. And I showed him that piece of paper, the date, the time that I believed that I'd received that deer. Well, the next year I tried it again. 30 minutes, 40 minutes, had my deer. Next year, 34. This happened every year. It's done it for 28 years nonstop now. Well, now, I'm a scientist, so I thought, well, this is interesting. One day I went out. I had about 30 minutes before we had to go on a meeting somewhere. And I had, I had released my faith for a buck. And I got up my tree stand. I was bow hunting. And there's a, there's a buck walking 200 yards away from me, walking off my property. We used to hunt behind our house there in Ohio, off my property. And I knew that's what I had believed God for, that I just sowed my seed and believed God for that's my buck. And the Lord said, speak to it, tell it to come to you. I said, well, what? And the Lord I said, no, wait a minute, no. I said, what page is that on? <laughs> I didn't scream now. You know, I'm not stupid again. Remember, I told you that. I just said, dear, in the name of Jesus, I command you to come here and stand under my tree stand. Now, I'm, I'm also smart enough to figure out if I'm a commanded deer to come to me and I'm bow hunting, I want him right there. So I said, come, have him come and stand under my tree, which means put me about 12 yards above him. That deer stopped, looked both directions, and began to wander right towards me. Now, I, I was a brand new bow hunter. I didn't know anything about scent. I had no camouflage on. I was only 12 yards up this tree. I mean, you know, I was just, I didn't know anything. This deer comes up and he comes and stands still directly under my tree and I took him home. I thought, did I just see what I thought I saw? Well, in Ohio, they changed the law where you could get two deer, but only one could be a buck. The other had to be a doe. So I began to sow my seed for a buck and a doe. I'm just, now I'm observing. You know, scientists observe things, but I didn't pay much attention to it after a while. But after a little while, I began to catch on. Because if I sowed my seed and believed God for a, a doe and a buck, if 30 minutes the doe would come or the buck would come, and the next time I go out, the other one would come. What I'm trying to say is I never had a deer come under me or close to me that was not the exact deer that I believed God for. I said, no, wait a minute now. Last year, the buck came and the next time the doe came. So this year I got wise. This happened for two or three. Then I began to figure it out. Oh, I know what's gonna happen. Up oh, here he comes. And then next, I know it's gonna, the doe will come. And just without exception, like clockwork, without exception, that's what happened. And I thought, now wait a minute. After a while, I figured out something's happening here. This isn't coincidence. I said, this isn't coincidence. And I began to kind of think this through. And one day, the final, the final thing was the last day of bow season. I had missed four of them. Bo, it's pretty easy to miss. We were building our church. We were remodeling a warehouse. Very busy. So I'd gone out a few times and missed them. That's another whole teaching on harvest and business and how that works. All God can do is bring it to you. You have to catch it, harvest it. We can go with that another day maybe. But So this is the last day of bow season. January 31st. Yes, it's winter. Yes, there's snow. And I told Drenna, so this is the last day. I got my deer coming yet. And I believed God for a yearling. That's a young deer because we eat the meat. I want a yearling. So I went out there that morning, and sure enough, in 30 minutes, here comes a yearling by himself, right up close to my tree. I looked down at it. At the moment, it looks up at me. Took off at a run across the woods, 150 yards away. I felt in my spirit the same unction speak to it. I said, Lord, he, this, this deer saw me. It doesn't want to commit suicide. It saw me. But I felt that in my spirit. So I spoke out loud the same thing. The deer came to a stop 
turned around and walked right back and stood directly under my tree. It's hard to explain how I felt realizing that there's something that God is showing me that I've never heard before. Well, I began to figure out that it might work for money, work for other things. Stop surviving and start thriving today on Fixing the Money Thing. This is one of the fundamental teachings that Gary and I learned that changed our life, not just our finances, changed our marriage, our home, our entire destiny in God. The things we're doing today has stemmed from the principles we learned about faith hunting. And so anyway, you may not be trying to catch a deer, but God has things He wants you to catch and get a hold of. Uh, we want you to go to our website and give us your questions and your comments. Your, uh, we got lots of good things for you there. So go to GaryCassie.com. That's GaryCassie.com, K-E-S-E-E.com. -E -E and we'd love to answer your questions and hear what's going on in your life. And there's a lot of great things that'll help you there too. Today, from Fixing the Money Thing, just in time for holiday gift giving, a two-part offer of resources sure to increase your faith through kingdom principles and help you fix your money thing. For many years, Gary's love for hunting earned him nothing but frustration and disappointment until he discovered the principles of faith that changed his life forever. The Lord said, why don't you trust me for your deer this year? You'll enjoy Gary's hunting stories and the principles of faith he's learned that have given him 100% success in the hunt since applying these truths from God's Word. I don't hunt for deer. I receive them. For the hunter and non-hunter alike, Faith Hunt reveals the principles of faith you need to apply. I always say that one experience with the kingdom of God will change your life forever. With your $19 gift, along with the Faith Hunt book, you'll also receive a Faith Works Every Time magnet. When you follow God's kingdom laws, faith works every time. Call, write, or go to GaryCasey.com to order. The second part of today's offer is Gary Casey's most powerful faith teaching to date. For $39 or more, you'll get the book, The Magnet, and Fixing Your Faith, a powerful series of teachings designed to help you get the answers you need. The Bible works just like it says it will. Why won't it work for me? What is disappointed faith? Do I have it? What tricks can get me off course? Do I know how to fight back? Seven CDs on faith that will change your future. Messages include, what are you doing out here? The importance of faith. Get the picture. What do you believe? Take the 30-day challenge. Freaked out. Faded. Call 888-391-LIFE. Write or log on to GaryCasey.com. These great resources are yours when you support Faith Life Ministries. $19 for Faith Hunt and the Faith Works Every Time Magnet. And add the Fixing Your Faith series for only $39 or more today. Call 888-391-LIFE. That's 888-391-5433. Go to GaryCasey.com or write to Faith Life Now, P.O. Box 779, New Albany, Ohio, 43054. Gary Cassie is America's financial coach, and his resources can help make fixing your money thing easy. Call, write, or log on today. That's why we're here at Faith Life Now. We want to help you fix your money thing. We want to help you get the answers God has for you. And today we're looking at kind of a different area and how those principles work in all the areas of our lives. Let's get back to Gary's teaching. It's going to help you a lot. Now, back to more revolutionary teaching on fixing the money thing. People believe God for money. How's he going to get it to you? Most people think it's going to show up in the mailbox. Most Christians have this view that when they walk down the street, someone's going to walk them and say, I see, is your name Gary Cassie? Yeah. You know, I had a dream like an angel showed up last night. I'm going to give you this million dollar check. Now, you know, that does happen occasionally, especially with ministry assignments or people on assignment. God funds it. But, you know, it doesn't happen very often, does it? And the most of the testimonies you hear about God doing something sound something like this. You know, I had an insurance claim that was denied, and they changed their mind. Uh, I had a promotion. Uh, my mom and dad gave me a car. Uh, someone that owed me money paid me back. If you'll pay attention to those testimonies, you're going to find out that they all work within their realm of authority, their dominion. Okay? It's very important. You see... You, you exercise government, the government of God's dominion, and that's all God can work in. 
In other words, in, in Deuteronomy 28, I think it says, God will pour the rain out in season upon your land, you know, in season. If you only have three tomato plants, and they're, they're great, but if you're expecting a, you know, 50 truckloads of tomato, you're short. What I'm trying to say is, if you don't have enough dominion, it doesn't matter about the blessing, you're still going to come out short. So you've got to know how the thing works. You've got to find out and understand how this whole process works. So because of this arrangement because of this legality that Satan claims this there are laws that give God access to help you with provision when Jesus fed the 5,000 people they came to him with the problem and he said to them what do you have after the dialogue you know they had this discussion about that would take eight months wages he came he finally said what what do you have now why would he say that He's limited by law. He, his answer is limited by law. So he says, what do you have? What's under your legal dominion? What can God work with in your situation? What's legal? Well, they come back with five loaves and two fish. My question is, the bread multiplied to what? It became bread. The fish multiplied and became fish. All right? Uh, we find in the Old Testament, oil multiplied and became oil. All right. But money's different. So you can name money because every day you do that. You go to the grocery store and you say, this $5 bill, I call it milk. I call this one house. I call this one my car. You see, money is a bartering system. You're not believing God for paper to come back, right? You're, you're, you're releasing it. You're naming it. So you name it every day. It's, a bar, it's, it's our bartering system. You name it. So with money, because God was instructing me how to believe God for provision for this deer, this, this venison, he said, I want you to sow money and believe by faith, come into agreement with my word, Mark eleven twenty four. 24, believe that you receive, you and your wife be in agreement, and you go out there. Now, the interesting thing is, it's amazing. I, I think Johnny said this, or someone earlier this week, I don't hunt for deer. I receive them. They come to me. I mean, they, I don't speak to them and tell them, they just, they, they're always there. In the same way, we talked about the Sabbath rest, that God, by supernatural revelation, tells you where it's at. Remember we talked about how, the, how you get the revelation? It's hidden from you, for you last night. That if Satan knew where it was at, he'd take the gold coin before you had a chance to get it, or he'd, he'd gather the fragments before you had a chance to gather them. And so Satan, uh, the strategy of the Holy Spirit gives you direction to harvest. Supernatural revelation harvesting takes place. Amen. That's what you want to do. So with the deer, I began to see this harvest mentality. I just began to harvest the deer without a lot of labor. I would go out 30 minutes. I didn't have to lose a lot of time. I wasn't anxious. I was, I was excited. I know. Think about it. I was going out hunting knowing without a doubt that I was going to get my buck. Huh? Think about that. You see, the difference of what I'm teaching is, I'm not saying we don't work. There's a difference of being driven by fear to find provision and by knowing for a fact you have provision while you gather on assignment. Okay? So don't misunderstand what I'm saying. So Jesus demonstrated how this worked there feeding the 5,000. Look in your Bibles to Luke chapter 12. So why do we give money? Well, obviously we give money. The bread multiplied when they gave it to Jesus. It changed what? Governments, remember, he blessed it. It changed governments, came under the dominion of God. When we give money, it changes governments. You may say, well, pastor, I'm already a believer. Everything I have is, is already God's. Not necessary. The Bible says that the only part of you that was born again is your spirit. You have to take dominion over your body, buffet it, Paul says. You have to renew your mind, right? That's what the Bible says in Romans chapter 12. and Anything else that you have has to be occupied. In other words, you have to occupy and take dominion over things in the kingdom. All right, so when we give money an assignment, we release it and we, we receive at that moment by faith. The formula doesn't cause that, but giving money does cause something to happen. And we'll discover these principles tonight. Luke chapter 12, 31. But seek his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. 
Do not be afraid, little flock, for your father has been pleased to give you the what? The what? Why is, he, why is he saying not to be afraid? He's about to tell them something that put fear in them. All right, remember when Paul was fishing there with his boats? They had such a big catch. Jesus said, come follow me. He said, don't be afraid. Why did he say that? Because in the natural realm, Paul, I mean, uh, Peter is questioning, how am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to survive? All right, so here he's, he said, listen, what I'm going to tell you, so here, here's your key right here. He's comparing two kingdoms. He's talking about worry, talking about the right, the right standing of things in our life, our assignment, talking about God's kingdom. He's comparing two kingdoms, and he says, listen, i got to tell you, it's God's pleasure to give you the kingdom. Don't be afraid, because he's about to tell you something that will cause you to shake for a second. Here's what he says. Don't be afraid. Sell your possessions and give to the poor. Now, he's not wanting us to do without possessions. He just said, if you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all of these things shall be added to you. What's he doing? He's breaking that tie of idolatry of the earth curse system that says, I must hoard to have the safety and security to get me out of this rat race. He's got to break that, you see. He's confronting that earth cursed trust. He said, listen, here, you want, you want to be free? Let me teach you a new system, he says. Let's break the hole in that thing. Sell your stuff. Give it away. What? Oh, that hurt. Wait a minute. Do you not understand? That's my only ticket out of this rat race is hoarding? Remember, that's right. Remember? That's why everyone wants to become a millionaire. Now, his purpose is not to take their stuff away. He says next what the purpose is. He says, I think my pay, there it is. <laughs> He says, uh, sell your possessions and give to the poor, and what? Provide purses for yourself that will not wear out a treasure in heaven that will not be exhausted, where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. He is instructing them about two kingdoms. He understands the earth curse system. He is saying, look, this is the trust you have. This is how you've been trained. This is the, you run after all the things in life. It's the only system you know, the painful toil, the labor, the sweat. You have never discovered your destiny. You're, you're running after houses and lands and things. Your whole life is mixed up. You can't serve two masters. You need to be free, and to, free to serve God. God feeds the birds. He dresses the lily. He'll take care of you too. So it's his good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Don't be afraid. I'm going to tell you the secret of how to tap into the provision. Break it off. Start giving. Today, from Fixing the Money Thing, just in time for holiday gift giving, a two-part offer of resources sure to increase your faith through kingdom principles and help you fix your money thing. For many years, Gary's love for hunting earned him nothing but frustration and disappointment until he discovered the principles of faith that changed his life forever. The Lord said, why don't you trust me for your deer this year? You'll enjoy Gary's hunting stories and the principles of faith he's learned that have given him 100% success in the hunt since applying these truths from God's Word. I don't hunt for deer. I receive them. For the hunter and non-hunter alike, Faith Hunt reveals the principles of faith you need to apply. I always say that one experience with the kingdom of God will change your life forever. With your $19 gift, along with the Faith Hunt book, You'll also receive a Faith Works Every Time magnet. When you follow God's kingdom laws, faith works every time. Call, write, or go to GaryCasey.com to order. The second part of today's offer is Gary Cassie's most powerful faith teaching to date. For $39 or more, you'll get the book, The Magnet, and Fixing Your Faith, a powerful series of teachings designed to help you get the answers you need. The Bible works just like it says it will. Why won't it work for me? What is disappointed faith? Do I have it? What tricks can get me off course? Do I know how to fight back? Seven CDs on faith that will change your future. Messages include, What are you doing out here? The importance of faith. Get the picture. What do you believe? Take the 30-day challenge. Freaked out. Baited. Call 888-391-LIFE. Write or log on to GaryCasey.com. These great resources are yours when you support Faith Life Ministries. $19 for Faith Hunt and the Faith Works Every Time Magnet. And add the Fixing Your Faith series for only $39 or more today. 
Call 888-391-LIFE. That's 888-391-5433. Go to GaryCasey.com or write to Faith Life Now, P.O. Box 779, New Albany, Ohio, 43054. Gary Cassie is America's financial coach, and his resources can help make fixing your money thing easy. Call, write, or log on today. Maybe you're watching the program today and you said, you know what, Gary, Drenda, that's nice for you, but you don't know the situation I'm in. It's deeper than deer hunting. It's more right. than what you've gone through. I can tell you today, there is no situation that our God does not have an answer right. for Amen. in His Word. Right, Gary? That's right. In fact, in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse number 4, it says this, that through His promises that are precious, uh, through them we may participate in the divine nature and escape the corruption in the world caused by evil desires or lust. There's a way of escape from the corruption. Corruption is referring to the earth curse system or the, the lack, the, the, you know, the, the sickness, disease, and poverty that came into the earth when Adam gave it away. Yes. That corruption, there's a way of escape out of that. And that, that escape is what is recorded in 2 Peter 1.3. He has given us everything that pertains to life. What's the escape? You have everything. Yes. And that's why we do what we do to help you understand the kingdom of God that changed our lives. That's Even though right. we found out by deer hunting, it worked for everything else. That's right. And you know, today maybe you're not living in the kingdom of God. Maybe you need that transformation the Bible yes. talks about to be transformed from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's Son. Yeah. All you've got to do is call in the name of Jesus Christ. God is there for you. He wants to save you heal you. He wants to bring all things. Yes, he does. The Bible says he's given us all things that pertain to life and yes. godliness. We want to hear from you. We want to help you. Listen, go to GaryCasey.com. Get the information that you need. The information is there. We're for you. We appreciate yes. you. And God is for you. That's and he right. wants to see you win. Fix the money thing by faith. Hunt deer by faith. Just do it all by faith yes. and you'll have it all. That's we'll see you right. next time. Fixing the Money Thing is brought to you by the Ford Financial Group and Lindsay Honda and Acura of Columbus. Tune in each Friday at 5.30 p.m. for Drenda. Connect with special guests, discover life-changing topics, and learn to live life out loud. It's more than just television. It's Drenda. Be sure to join Gary, Drenda, and the Cassie family for a special Christmas program, Home for the Holidays, coming soon on Fixing the Money Thing. There will be plenty of holiday cheer, favorite Christmas memories, a special Christmas message from Gary and Drenda Cassie, and holiday music at the piano. Gather your family and join us for some holiday cheer on Home for the Holidays. It's a Merry Christmas, coming soon on Fixing the Money Thing. Come experience Faith Life Church for yourself and become part of a close-knit gathering of people who want something more, more impact, more purpose, more of God, more of life. Located on the east side of Columbus, just 10 minutes from Easton off of 161, Faith Life Church meets in the Now Center with services Saturdays at 6 p.m. and Sundays at 9.30 and 11.30 a.m. Come experience the good life at Faith Life Church. Fixing the Money Thing is a presentation of Faith Life Now.